and welcome back to another what I eat Wednesday video um, today is a little slightly different because as you saw you saw my workout so I am in the beginning stages of my diet bet with my co-workers yes baby nope 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 yeah, so I am just trying to implement uh, more physical activity. So I did start working back out today. I just did a little bit on the treadmill and I did a little booty workout. And I'm going to slowly start implementing physical activity back into my journey. So I will take you guys along with me so you can kind of see as my workouts progress. Make sure that you're following me over on Instagram because I'm definitely going to be leaving a ton of recipes and easy workouts for moms. So you'll find that there. I am enjoying my Shakeology and we're getting ready to head out. And I will show you guys a proper like either breakfast or lunch when I get back home all right so I'm back home now from gymnastics and getting ready to make my breakfast I just have one of these sausage patties and I'm frying an egg there in olive oil and then I'm going to saute up some spinach and mushrooms I swear this is like my favorite kind of breakfast to have but I love it so much and it's so good and so filling so I'm gonna have that Ooh, this is my breakfast, so I'm just gonna go ahead and eat this. Hey guys, all right, so I'm going to have a snack and I'm gonna use the other half of that Oikos uh, vanilla yogurt that I used in my smoothie this morning and I'm just going to chop up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and eat that yogurt. Sorry, my SIM card actually got full, so I couldn't show you guys what it looked like, but I just ate that yogurt, and I'm gonna have some coffee just to get over like the 2.30 hump right now. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with some heavy whipping cream. I just pour in a little bit. I don't measure any of this stuff. I just kinda do it to my liking. This is the Walden Farms Caramel Syrup. If you follow me over on my Instagram, then you know I've already raved about this stuff. It's so good. It's like got no calories no sugar no carbs I just pour a little bit of that in because I really love caramel sauce in my coffee and then I've got the Tarani sugar-free vanilla syrup I'm gonna do a little bit of that and then I actually picked this cold brew brewer off of Amazon I picked it up and I love this stuff I just get to make my own cold brew which is awesome I'll have this thing linked down below for you guys it was only like 10 bucks like the best investment ever and I just fill my coffee mug this is a 30 ounce cup I probably fill it up to here with the cold brew and all that stuff and then I'm gonna fill it up with some water because this is cold brew concentrate and that is my coffee perfect perfect so good you guys y'all have to try that Walden Farms um, caramel sauce i'll have that listed down below i did pick that up off amazon and honestly like we're in the season of not buying coffee from coffee stands so <laughs> and don't you just love my cup <laughs> i made it and i don't want to drink coffee out of anything else now literally 
All right, you guys, so I'm about to make dinner and I am going to make this recipe that I found right here. It is a cheesy sausage broccoli skillet and it is totally keto friendly and it just looks so good. So let me show you everything that I have set up right now. I have some broccoli in a bowl here and I've got half a container of cream cheese and half a cup of mayonnaise and some seasonings. I just added salt, pepper, and garlic powder in here. This is the mayonnaise that I used and I just used Philadelphia cream cheese. And then I've got this Hillshire Farm smoked sausage. And then of course I had my broccoli head, which I already chopped up. And I am going to put a little bit of water in this, microwave it for just a minute with plastic wrap over the top to kind of get it a nice steam going. And then I'm going to slice up the sausage rounds, cook those really quickly, and then I'll add all of this mixture together in a baking dish. And that is going to be it with some cheese, of course. into a bowl so you can get it nice and mixed. So I brought out my big bowl here and I'm just going to dump in the broccoli and I'm going to dump in my sausage mixture. And this is really hot. So because I'm using a plastic bowl, I'm not gonna dump it in because I don't want the grease to like melt the plastic. So I'm just going to dump it in like this, but I will dump this grease in to the baking dish. So, bloop. I'm gonna put that in the baking dish like that and put that aside. And then I did microwave the cream cheese and mayonnaise mixture just to mix it together a lot better than what I had. And then I'm just gonna dump that in there as well. Let me get a spatula. And then I'm going to add in some cheddar cheese. You can just do as much or as little cheese as you like. I like a lot of cheese, so I'm gonna mix in the cheese there. And then you're just gonna give this like a couple of good mixes and get it all nice and combined. God, yes, you guys, this looks so freaking good. Yum. So you could totally pair this with like some rice or something, but I am doing it strictly keto, so I'm just going to eat this as my whole dish. So this is my dinner.